Hey, what's going on guys? It's Joel here with as many reviews as possible and today we are doing the review of the Reebok Lifter PR. Alright guys, so if you haven't seen my unboxing video of the Lifter PRs, I basically bought these shoes off a of whim. Uh, I was browsing Reebok's website, saw them, I was like, oh crap, new lifters. I'll, I'll go and buy them, see what, what's good with them. Um, right off the bat, they look like the Adidas Powerlift trainers. There's a lot similar to the Adidas Powerlift trainers in the heel that it's EVA versus n your normal TPU. Um, and otherwise, the shape is, is very reminiscent of the Powerlift trainer. There are a few noticeable differences between the power lift and the PRs and that is basically the toe box on the PR is a leather toe box. The power lifts are synthetic material. Um, the overall height of the shoe is much higher, much taller on the lifter PRs. And with a little bit of research and uh, trying to figure this all out and actually doing hand testing, I've come to the conclusion that the lifter PRs do have an effective heel height of 0.6 inches, which is what the power lifts are stated to be. Now, when I did actual hand testing with the power lifts, of course I had to buy them and uh, do my own test with them. I actually came to the conclusion that these are only 0.43 inches, so they're not actually 0.6. Um, Correct me if I'm wrong, I did hand testing, all I did was basically just take a measuring tape and measure them, but they definitely feel a lot shorter than the lifters. Um, not just in height, but the, the heel height feels a lot more steep on the lifter PRs, or the drop feels a lot more steep on the lifter PRs. Now it comes down to performance with the lifter PRs, you're not going to really be missing anything from uh, just normal Oli shoes. To be honest with you, other than the heel height, uh, you're not really going to notice any kind of um, power loss when it comes to the EVA heel compared to a normal TPU heel. And if you are at the weights where you're going to be uh, worried about the heel depressing on the lifter PRs, then you should probably not even be looking at the lifter PRs. Uh, they are an entry level weightlifting shoe and for everything that I've been doing in them, snatches, clean and jerk, um, jerks, uh, squats, they've handled it like any other shoe. Honestly, they feel like any other shoe to me. There's one noticeable difference um, as far as stability goes in that the TPU heel, if you walk on it and you kind of just press down on the edges, you'll notice that it'll depress. But when it comes down to actual just power delivery and just squats, uh, there's no depressing this middle part. Another thing that I noticed with the lifter PRs is the shape right here. Uh, if you set this down on a table, it never really sits flat. It kind of has this uh, midfoot bias and it kind of puts forward a little bit more than I would like. Uh, so there are a little bit of stability issues as far as um, catching Oli lifts, but as far as back squatting or just normal squatting, uh, they should be fine. Um, another thing that I did notice with the lifter PRs is the, though the toe box is leather, uh, it does take a little bit of break in. There is a little bit of tightness in this, this area right here. So if you have any kind of bunion, you're probably gonna notice uh, one side's gonna pinch. My right foot kind of pinched a little bit on the outside, uh, but it, took a little bit of break in for that to feel um, more comfortable. Another thing that is different between the lifter PR and the power lift is you see the power lift kind of has that medial strap but it only just goes over just the top of the laces. On the lifter PRs that medial strap starts all the way from the sole and continues pretty much all the way around so you can really get a lockdown fit with the lifter PRs. Another thing with the lifter PRs that's uh, a little bit different is that the sizing is way off. All right, so these are a nine in the power lifts and these are a nine in the PRs. 
and if I put them together the lifters are way 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 bigger these are uh, a, a big big shoe they run really large um, normally I wear a size 9 in my lifters and these are size 9 and they fit me with almost a full inch to spare so I would probably go down to an eight and a half um, if I were to do it again but otherwise I can lift in them it's not too bad but you should have your Ole shoes more snug than, uh, than loose now these are an entry level weightlifting shoe and they only run for $90 um, for my money right now you could probably go find maybe some fast lifts uh, maybe some lifter pluses lifter 2.0s for around the same price as this I, I remember they actually had Eddie powers for about a hundred dollars at one point so for my money I would probably do a little bit of shopping instead and, and go for one of those shoes these are a good shoe entry level they're good to wad in they're fairly comfortable once you get them broken in but they are still an entry level shoe they still do have an EVA heel so I would still recommend you do a little bit of shopping for something that has a TPU heel. If you guys have any questions about the lifter PRs, feel free to leave me a comment in the comments. And uh, the full review is up on as many reviews as possible.com. Please leave me a rating, guys, and uh, thanks for watching.